Okay, so for today's craft, I'm going to be doing something I've been wanting to try for a long time and it's putting HGV on other balls. I did um, a baseball video and that worked great. And I always want to try a flip ball and maybe a soccer ball. Basketball, I feel like it'll get too much traction, you know, the, the vinyl will come off. Maybe a soccer ball too. Um, but we shall see. And so I have some balls. These are old ones. I'm going to have to really clean it with an alcohol wipe. And I'm going to be using this HTV Rant silver or light reflective gray HTV. And this one's really cool, especially for like balls or sporting goods, just because it's it has that reflective um, look to it. And it'll be really good when you're trying to find, I don't know, we're, we've been at the park at nighttime a lot and it'll be really nice to be able to see your ball like when you shine the flashlight i don't know that's what we've been doing but yeah and all you need is that you need some kind of iron i'm using the easy press mini which is very handy and perfect for this kind of job it would be hard to use a big iron for this whereas this is very easy to go over the curve and so the first thing to do is to measure How big the font can be so on this ball I don't know what size this is peewee size so it's not like the hugest one but I mean it's pretty big you know I can barely hold it <laughs> I want it to go I guess right here so this would be maybe like a four inch font or name by one inch two max um, when it's too wide, it's also harder to put it on a curved surface. So I think one inch would be a good um, height. And then this ball, there's no really great section to put it on. Like this is the hole, so this is the top. I'm thinking maybe right here with the, I guess the label. So four inches would work for this one too. And so I'm wondering which one will be more challenging, the smooth one and keeping it on or the textured. Ideally, I think I would have used um, Caesar Easy Weed Stretch for this because that one, that's the one I use in baseballs and that one goes on like in four seconds, like so fast. So no damage to the balls whatsoever. This one, I'm going to try to use it on the lowest setting and hopefully it doesn't damage the balls. That's why I'm using old balls before I try it on like a gift or something like that. So I'll take you to Cricut Design Space and really quickly just show you how I'm doing the lettering. So super simple. I'm just gonna create a text box and then type in my last name. And I have a font in mind. It's called IFC Hardball and I downloaded it, um, I think from dafont.com. Okay, it must be in system, there we go. I actually really like the update. I think you can bookmark your favorite ones and that'll be super handy. Okay, so I'm just going to change that to a lowercase so that they're all the same size. And let's try four inches. Maybe one inch height just to make it a tiny bit bigger. So that's perfect. So now we can make it. And then don't forget to always mirror. And I need two of these, so I'm just going to duplicate it, okay, mirror it again. And let's go ahead and cut. Okay, so for the base material, I think I'm going to go with glitter iron-on just to be safe. And then let's go ahead and cut it. Okay, so I have my designs all weeded out. So if you can see, it's very reflective in the light. I'm going to also set my mini press to the first setting for like if I was going to do this on cotton, I think the temperature is supposed to be 284. I don't know what it gets to on the easy press or how that translates, but I really want to use the lowest, I guess, heat possible so I don't burn the ball <laughs> or ruin the ball. So I'm just getting an alcohol wipe and then cleaning it off. Oh, I'm doing the wrong part. Okay, wait. 
I wanted the air hole on the bottom. Okay, it's this one. Okay, so just cleaning it with the alcohol wipe. And then letting it dry so it's not rolling around. Okay, perfect. And then this one. I, I could wash the ball, but I didn't know if that was a good idea since, I don't know, can you wash leather balls? I'm not even sure. But yeah, I'm gonna try to clean it off really good, just in the spot that we're gonna do, so I don't like inadvertently ruin the ball. Okay, so while that's drying, yeah, that's still wet. So I'm just gonna put it over here in the middle. So it's just gonna go right like that. So I think no need to preheat the ball just because it's probably not, like it doesn't have any moisture on the plastic. I'm gonna go ahead and center this right on there. And this carrier sheet's a little bit sticky, so it really gets on there good. Okay, and I think, what does it say? I think it's 10 seconds, um, 10 to 15 seconds, medium pressure without sliding the iron. And that's what it says on there. I'm gonna use the blunt side and try to iron it, but minimally iron it, just so that it gets on there. And then I'm gonna go backwards like this. So I'm gonna let this cool on the side. Actually, I let this one cool a little bit because I think I did do it a little bit too much. I probably should have used a Teflon sheet over it and done it for a little bit less, but I wanna see how this one does before I ruin another ball. So. As far as the HTV though, it is on there really good. I probably just didn't have to do it for as long. I could have probably just done it for a couple seconds, but it did melt the ball a little bit, like where it's bubbling. Can you see that? So if I was gonna do this as a gift, I would definitely do it less. This is just their old ball, so no worries, but it was a good thing to try it on the older ball. So now let's try the football. Hopefully this works out. It's finally dry. I'm going to align this with the middle. Okay. This time I will use the Teflon sheet just to protect the rest of the ball surface and just go maybe like a couple seconds. You know, I have to go a little bit longer. And I probably have to push down harder. I can kind of tell it's not stuck on the edges up here. So maybe I have to go like a little bit more on the edges or the top and bottom. It's hard to see with the Teflon sheet. But at least it's protecting the ball. Still not quite hot enough. I'm like just so scared to burn it now because I think it'll be more obvious on the football than on the soccer ball. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to do it longer. But so far, no damage to the ball itself. So I'm going to let this cool fully before trying to take it off. Okay, so the ball is finally cooled and I'm going to attempt to take it off. Although I can already see it not adhering over here. If it doesn't work, I'm going to go ahead and try the Caesar Easy Wee. Because, yeah, I mean, that would probably work. So, okay, yeah, this doesn't work on this texture so sad because reflective would have been nice 
I'm going to go ahead and peel this off and then I'm going to use, let's see, to do it in black or white. I feel like black would just blend in, but white would be really obvious. I guess let's go with black because this might be too much. But I'm going to cut the same name, everything, same font, and then um, with the Caesar Easy Weed Stretch and then come back. Okay, so I cut it out and weeded it and pretty sure it's just ready to go since we already tried the other one. This one, the carrier sheet is not as sticky. And I think I won't use the Teflon sheet this time. I'll just go over it carefully because I know this um, HTV goes on very quickly. So just try it out. I'm going to push down pretty hard so that it gets on the bubbles or the little bumps. Yeah, this one just goes right on so fast. I didn't even fast forward that or anything. It's still kind of hot. Maybe I should have done it in white. Oh well. I think I'll just go over it real quick. Although nothing is coming up, but you know, just for, for me, I just want to do it. So with this, you can just kind of slide around it, make sure it's really on there. Yeah. Okay, so that works. Um, I don't know how long these will last with the kicking and the throwing and the grass, but if this falls off, I will mention it in the comments. It might be like months from now though. It's not like we use these balls all the time. Um, but yeah, so for shiny or slippery vinyl balls, you can use the reflective and probably any one that you want. Just go easy on the heat because you can um, melt it. Footballs, I think you have to go with like a really thin vinyl, such as the Caesar Easy Weed Stretch. But yeah, I mean, it's really on there. I can't see it falling off anytime soon. This one will guarantee work on like tons of balls. Like this is the one I use for the baseballs and that's like a slippery leather. So if in doubt, use this one. I wonder if they have like a reflective stretch one. I haven't been on 143 vinyl for a while, but maybe that would be cool to get. Cause I do like the quality of this. On certain things, it doesn't last as long, but I noticed like on really hard to do stuff, it lasts. But yeah, so if I find any more balls, <laughs> I guess I'll try and come on here and do it. Is there anything else? Maybe basketballs? Okay, maybe I will try the basketball with the stretch since this is a similar material. I'm kind of curious just to see how long it will last, that's why. But yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you in my next video.